hello and I'm glad you joined this video as you ran into this video because I have some good news for those who are into home theater who love to sit at home and watch movies but you want to feel like you're in the movie yes that's possible to have the technology these days where you actually can really feel like you're in the movie and, you, and the sound is so realistic it'll blow your mind if you're not familiar if you don't know how to hook up a home data system, you don't know where to start, you don't know what to buy, well, we already, everybody knows you got to have a TV. That's the first thing. All right, these days, the technology that, that they got, is everything goes. I mean, it's, it's, it's like no limit. Okay, the first thing you do for anybody that's not familiar, even some senior citizens, if you can get somebody to help you that's knowledgeable, or if you're not a senior citizen, you're just anybody at any age that's just interested in this that's really into home theater and also not only the movies sound incredible the music is enhanced the music will sound incredible the first thing you need which we all know is the television set as far as the movies is concerned okay uh, high definition television set you need you need high definition cables depending on what type of TV you get but you get you a high definition TV not those old television sets that's not going to make you get you a high definition TV the size of the TV depends on the size of your room. All right, unless you plan on moving, you can up upgrade, but you might as well do it now if you plan on moving, get the size that you need. So when you move, you don't have to worry about getting another TV. Okay, I would say for a small room, right, anything, it depends on what you want. For a small living room, if you're putting the TV in a living room, and that's basically the room that we use for home theater, the living room and the basement. You could do it in the bedroom too, have like a theater in the bedroom. The basically is for a living room or, or a basement. Some people turn their basement into a real movie theater. Depends on what you can afford or how you do it, but there's ways of doing it. Okay, basically let's talk about the living room setup, right? A basement setup is basically the same thing, but a living room setup. You get you a high definition TV if you have a very small living room right you can get uh i would say for movie theater being that you could you got you want that movie theater feeling you could get you a, a 50 and 40 or 50 anywhere from 40 to 50 inches it's depending on how small it is <coughs> for a medium-sized living room anywhere from a 50 to a 60 inch of large living room or very large living room anywhere from a 60 to a 70 or 80 inch tv all right but you, what type of TV it is, it really doesn't matter. Uh, it is a high definition TV. These days they have smart TVs, and that's most of the TVs are smart TVs where you can go on the internet through the TV. It does so many different things. It's a lot of fun, right? Uh, make sure you buy your a high definition TV. You're better off getting a smart TV, and you also, if you can afford it, get a 4K, uh, the higher version of the HD signal. Right, a better signal. You don't necessarily have to have it. Some people don't really want it or they can't afford it. But basically, the most important thing is to get you a, a nice high definition TV, a nice size according to your room. With the TV, you're also going to need an audio video receiver, which is considered an amplifier, different type of amplifier. An audio video receiver, right, is what you hook the TV, the speakers, the cable box, everything to from the back. And you also hook all your speakers from the back. It has the speaker placements for the back. Uh, the next thing you need besides the TV is, is, is a nice speaker system. There's different ways of getting speaker systems, right? You can just buy five speakers or you can buy, if you want extra channels, each speaker is called a channel also. Like you might get a five channel receiver, basically five channels is, a, is in front of the TV, on the side of the TV, the left speaker, the right speaker, the center speaker that goes in the middle for dialogue. And the two speakers in the back of the room is for surround sound. Right, and you combine all that together, right? And you have incredible sound if it's hooked up properly, right? Also, you have to have the proper speaker placements. Put the speaker in a proper position. Your speakers have to be put in a proper position. The TV should be any place in the room that's in the middle of the room. Uh, you could put it in a corner, but that's a little difficult. It throws, it throws the surround sound off balance. You better off putting on any wall, any of the walls, as long as in the middle, the TV is in the middle of the room, so the speakers be balanced properly at the proper distance. Okay, we we got our TV, we have our speak uh, speaker system, you have an audio video receiver. Okay, now those are the main things that we need. Now, when you hook up your 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 your, your audio video receiver to your TV, right? You you have to use 
uh, high definition wires or inputs connections right we they used to use the old RCA plugs years ago the red yellow and white ones we used to use right uh, we don't use those anymore they're still used you can still use them and all the new TVs have that built in also you can still use it with the old VCR if you have an old VCR or DVD player depending on what you got right or you can upgrade to uh, a high definition uh, DVD you can connect a DVD you can connect a blu-ray DVD which is a better signal a better picture DVD picture than average than a regular DVD even a regular DVD have a nice picture but a blu-ray gives you a better signal a better picture all right to your order video receiver or your amplifier you have your speaker connections in the back all right you take your left speaker right and depending on what type of speaker you buy they have speakers that you can put on a stand they come in all different sizes they have tower speakers with a big high ones that sit on the floor they have the strongest sound they have small speakers that sound strong also depending on what type of speaker system you want so many different type of speaker systems that sound incredible some we know about uh, I recommend clips right JBL uh, uh, we, we there's a lot of them out there you know, I mean, you could go on and on. PSB, Atlantic Technology, Boston Acoustics. I mean, you got a, tre a tremendous amount of speakers. I didn't even touch the surface yet, right? You have um, different ways to hook up your speakers, right? And also, you need a subwoofer. So basically, you need five speakers and a subwoofer for bass. You can you can get there's some audio video receivers that take seven speakers nine speakers ten speakers you know but we're just going to go into the basics that's for more advanced and the basics will be uh, if you're using a tower speaker right the speaker on the left side of your TV and the speaker on the right side of your TV the tower speaker stand up high and you put it even on each side of the TV the left and right you put it even you run the wires from the back of the TV into the back of the order receiver that says front left the left speaker standing on the floor in front of the TV on your on your left side, right? You hook it in the back of the receiver which says front left. The other right speaker standing on the other side of the TV, you hook it to the to uh, to the front right, right? The speaker on the right of you goes and where it says front right on the back of your auto video receiver or amp. The one on the left goes in front left. Remember, you have to put it that way or you're not going to get the proper sound. Then you have your center channel. A dialogue for the speaking where it sound like when you watch when people are talking right it sound like they're in your living room talking right to you they have speakers that sound that good and also also for special effects it works very good with the surround speakers in the back right and, and if you if you connect everything properly it's going to sound incredible it's going to sound realistic right it enhances your music you hear all the instruments I mean even with the movies the music sounds incredible right you can feel them you can feel things moving like things are moving when you watch a movie you actually feel like they're in your living room things are moving and they have equipment that good depending on what type of wires you use and also wires is another important thing right so you hook up your left your right and your center channel goes in where it says center center left center right right make sure you do the, the wires correctly right the negative and positive have to be put in correctly on the, on the speakers it'll show you in the back of the speaker negative and positive one look like an X one look like a straight line well then you do your surround sounds where it says left surround on the back of you on the left side of the room and back of you hook up where it says left surround the right side all the way in the back of the room you hook on the right surround all right and you hook that up you could put it six feet on the ceiling on the wall you could put it a uh, air level you could put it air level when you're sitting down you could put it on stands like air level on stands in the back if you have stands or you hook it on the wall depending on what type of speakers you got then you got your subwoofer your base right and that they have different kind right uh, basically today you have a, a, a looks like an RCA plug it's usually a black wire it doesn't have to be black and it hooks up where from your subwoofer where it says where it says in okay you go on the back of the receiver where it says subwoofer out then you go to subwoofer in you stick the wire on the subwoofer right and once you and then when, when you turn your receiver on remember also you got to hook your TV right your television set has to be hooked depending on what type of TV you got there, there's a hookup for the high definition input right there's a high definition input the TV can have two three four five or whatever high definition different high definition inputs for different things to hook it to the receiver hook it to the DVD 
right? You hook it to an old VCR, uh, 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 then you use the RCA plug for the VCR, not the HD. They did make a VCR, uh, a digital VCR before they went out of business. The Wiz, I remember the Wiz, one of my favorite home theater stores back in the day. I was crazy. I was really upset when they went out of business, right? Uh, when you hook all of this up together, now on the back of the TV, they, you use your cable box for that to get the sound for the TV. If you have cable or satellite, right? There's an input that says that says audio out on a high definition, right? On a high definition where it says out to TV. On the back of the audio video receiver, it says out to TV. You put your high definition wire there, and you put it in input one, right? Uh, 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 for for the um. For the receiver now depending on if you got cable or if you got satellite i don't know right it's the same thing if you have satellite there's a high definition input on there that goes out from the from the um from the satellite box to where it says in to the audio video receiver and there's another wire that goes from audio video receiver out to the tv so one goes to the satellite box and one goes to the TV. The same thing with cable. One high definition wire goes to the satellite box, right? And then there's another input that goes to the TV, depending on which one you got. Once all that is hooked up properly, then on your cable box, you can adjust the sound. And make the sound digital. Make sure you have to use your remote control. Lock your surround lock your cable box into surround sound, right? And, and digital make sure it's digital on your receiver make sure your inputs are digital if you look at your instruction manual it will teach you and show you these things once you do this you will enjoy sound that's out of this world depending on what type of audio video receiver you got they got some great ones out there right they have pioneer right they have Ankyo, they have sony they have plenty plenty of them depending on what you want if you want really spend more money and you want to go more high tech that, that's an, that's another thing. It depends on what you can afford. But when you go to your home theater dealer, like Best Buy, wherever you go, they will help you and they'll show you, right? And they'll give you an idea and how to hook this stuff up and what to buy, all right? But it's good to know things on your own, right? And, and it helps. It's a lot of fun. I hope you enjoy it. And remember, I'll be back with more videos on home theater, right? This video is for your enjoyment. And don't forget the instructions, right? I don't have on this video, the video to show you exactly how to do all of these things. That's going to come next on my next video. Thank you and take care.